What's up everybody, Abe here, and today we're just gonna go through a quick little update on everything that has to do with my wagon build. So in case you've been following me on Instagram, uh, you know what's been happening with the builds and the progress or whatever, but I haven't posted a video in a while um, because i just been at a standstill. Um, a few months back, back in December, I got rear-ended, uh, my G35 got totaled, and because I didn't have the right insurance coverage, I pretty much got screwed over. Um, it was a hit and run. I'll show you uh, some images or some video in, in a sec of what the G35 looks now. And I'll just show you what I'm driving now as well. Um, I'm going to show you a quick little tour of uh, my back porch here, of you know all the parts that I have gathered together. But in a nutshell, I basically have everything that I need to drop the engine in. Um, I have the engine transmission. I have every single part that I need. Uh, just little little things here and there, you know, all the little intricacies of uh, setting up a uh, turbo build. Uh, there's little parts here and there that you you, you know you can't look over. So, um, but I think I'm 99.9% .9 sure I have everything that I need. Uh, we'll run into that later to see if I need anything else. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go take a look. All right, all right, here we are. We got the engine here on the engine stand. Um, the other day I just finalized putting the uh, timing belt back together. Um, I finally went out and bought a transmission. Now there's a long story. Um, I actually already had a GSR LSD transmission at one point, but due to my car accident I had to sell it. And now I settled for a rebuilt, actually, uh, LS transmission. Uh, being rebuilt gives me the peace of mind that it, you know, it's in 100% working order. So, yeah. Um, let me just remove a nice little red valve cover here. Take a look. See. In case you guys don't know, um, I have uh, stage two uh, Brian Crower turbo cams. Um, I just recently bought some AEM cam gears because they look nice. <laughs> AEM fuel rail, fuel pressure regulator. Um, so yeah, that's basically a brief little little tour of my back porch with the engine. Obviously, I have to uh, you know put the valve cover seal on. Um, I have all that already in storage, uh, but everything's ready to go, man. Uh, I just tightened up this crank pulley. Hard as hell, I probably still need to tighten it up a little bit more. Again, here's the training and the engine. So let's uh, take a quick drive to over to uh, my brother's house where the wagon is and I'll show you how everything's looking over there. It's not a complete video without cats. Got it? <laughs> I just uh, almost forgot to mention, uh, obviously I have a wagon and those cars came with a cable type transmission. Uh, I'm actually going with a hydraulic LS tranny here. Um, I'll show you exactly what I did to convert my wagon to a hydro type transmission car. Alright, and uh, let's go. Just to show you what I'm driving now, I'm driving a uh, GS300 with some crusty ass wheels. Don't judge me. Temporary. Hopefully, I can get something different soon. I had a lip on there, but it uh, ripped off when I was driving. <laughs> I know. It sucks. Uh, let me show you what it's got done to it. All right, and here we are. Um, Got a 2JZ GTE swap stock twin turbos. Um, it's not as fast as a lot of people may think, really. Um, it's pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice ride. Uh, it's very, very convenient for me, especially because I drive a lot for work. It's got a nice little exhaust back here. It's not obnoxiously loud. Um, very dailyable, man. Very convenient car for me right now. 
tired of driving stick shift to and from work. That's why I opted for the uh, automatic GS. And you can't go wrong with a uh, GTE swap. It's got a little bit of power. Again, not the quickest thing, but it's uh, fast enough for me. Make our way back where the wagon is. This looks like a junkyard right now. And here is my G35. That's what it's looking like right now. So I parted out a lot of it. The engine transmission's gone. Um, come back here, you can kind of see the quarter panel back here. This is where I got rear-ended. Right back here is where I got hit. Yeah, this car is basically all stripped out. Um, yeah. And this engine right here belongs to uh, the person that bought my swap. They just left their engine back here. It's been back here for almost two months now. Don't know what to do with it. And here's my uh, HKS exhaust that I had on the G. Still back here. Just chilling, hanging out in the grass. And let's come back here where the wagon is. It's a lot, a lot of crap back here. All right, so just to get a better look at the wagon here, again, really haven't done much to it. It's just been hanging out. Uh, if you remember that I briefly mentioned that I converted the wagon to a hydraulic transmission setup. You can see I got the reservoir here. Um, I got the clutch line here for the slave cylinder. Um, and if you're cu curious as to what company I went with, I used Hush Performance's uh, pedal bracket. Um, if you come back here, I don't know if you can really take a good look in here. Yeah, try to get under the pedal there, but it's not enough room for you to really see the, the, the Hush Performance bracket. Um, yeah, so that's about it for the update, guys. And uh, stay tuned for some more uh, videos coming soon. I plan on hopefully dropping the engine in this coming weekend, barring any time constraints, because time is sometimes hard to get, for me at least. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Auto Motion Pictures. Uh, until next time, guys. Peace.